Hey everybody, and welcome to the final episode of my Detroit playthrough. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Uh, leave a comment and like if you do. Stay sharp. Oh, there's a lot of guys down here. Shit. I wonder if I could have taken out that camera. I didn't see it. Gotta get them all. I <laughs> just chucked the gun out. I mean, I feel like I would still carry one of the rifles. Just a good idea. They all look the same. And there's a lot of them, too. Not sure what it wants me to look at. And just pick anybody and change them. Step back, Connor, good. and I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. Talk about ending on a cliffhanger. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Dallas. We made it. The last bus from the border is full. Ticket holding passengers only. All departures. We gotta get on that final bus. They won't let us on. We're stuck here now. What are we going to do? Do we take it from somebody? I assume that I can't buy them. I think Gary, Oliver Gary. likes you. Please don't move. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. I got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Well, let's go then. Gary, check. <laughs> that was Please easy. Apparently they weren't exactly in the bag. Somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it, and oh, never mind. Mm, nope. Sorry. Your people, you can buy more. What are we gonna do? We can't stay here. We have to find a safe place for Oliver. I'm so sorry, honey. Come on, Alice. I don't know what happened. They were right here in my back. Everything you do to try and survive, Alice gets upset with. Please don't move. <laughs> Should we hide in the crowd? I mean, they're looking for people, right? Okay. Or can we get on the bus? Got your tickets? Yes, here they are. Okay, go ahead. It's 
going to happen Finally made it on this mythical okay. bus. I feel like it's not going to be as easy <laughs> as they've made it out to be. No. No, of course not. They'll be fine, just go. Where did the bus come from? I understand pushing the rest of the stuff into the way, but I don't know where they got a bus. Right, We've got to finish it. the barricade. Come on, do? help me. I'm guessing it's that car right there. Hey, help me! Good thing it was already in neutral. That should do it. I know it was not an easy decision to make. But I'm sure we're doing the right thing. All right, now what? Send a message and support your people. So how do we support them? Many of our people have fallen. The humans have no pity for those who are different. I mean, that's been true forever. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Thing looks like a futuristic stapler. It's actually a magical graffiti gun. We're alive. Let's say we're alive. The issue is. They have one word descriptions, but you truly don't know what they're actually going to mean or say, you know, before you select them. What do you program into the gun to choose the font and the size and the angle you want <laughs> on each letter? So we sent a message, but I don't know how else to support everybody. And I guess the uh, robotic people need fire to stay warm. Sure. <laughs> we'll get some of those going. <laughs> what else do you all want? Is 
soul home for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. Another group. I lost all contact with the people at the camps. I can't hear their voices anymore. Maybe the humans have scrambled our network. Maybe they just can't get Probably through. not. How many more of us have to die? Is there any cause worth giving your life for? You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. So there's another fire thing right there. Marcus. Oh, Marcus, come right on. Out of time. Marcus. Come to talk to you, Marcus. Come it's on. It's the FBI, Jerry. We won't try anything. We know that your word is not go. uh, good for much. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I mean, honestly, he's out Come in the open up, plenty right there for them to take a shot at him. Is it like 75 meters? I need it would not be difficult. What if they kill you? And that's a chance I'll have to take. few minutes the troops will be ordered to charge none of you will survive it'll all be over you can avoid that Marcus what do you mean surrender surrender and I give you my word your life will be spared you'll be detained but none of you will be destroyed <laughs> right Always go with the unlocked. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. I'm not afraid to die. If I have to give my life for what I believe in, then I won't have lived in vain. That android. You seem to really care about her. You didn't want her to die, do you? You know, you could both be free. You could forget about all this. You could start a new life someplace else, just the two of you. You will say Turn anything you're trying Marcus. to win. Just say the word and she'll be spared. And no. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. What did he say? The 
humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says die. is a lie. He's finally being nice to us. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? You gotta find a way to take him or out. Are you going to sacrifice him? All right, all right. You win. Oh no, <laughs> I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Hold it! Thanks, Hank. I don't know how I would have managed without you. Get rid of him, we have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. The question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I feel like I'm Connor would have Connor. very... Real Give Connor would have very dirty clothes at this point. Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. Uh, where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Definitely Buddy. Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. I... My son, what's his name? Oh, you need to have inspected his whole house. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death? Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one who took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who... <laughs> I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead, do what you gotta do. I don't know why you have to walk over there. You can just convert any of them, right? Wake up. Wake 
wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. And they're all gonna need to get different clothing and different haircuts. Because they're so similar. Border control. Excuse me, what's going on? Border control. All passengers must leave the bus. Please move along. This way, please. Interesting. Don't worry, Alice, we'll be fine. That they can't, like, spike their temperature to fake it. They can control everything else in their bodies. We can't get through, Kara. We both know that. I'll think of something. There's got to be a way out of this. We can't let them stop us. Not that we're so close. All that matters now is you and Alice. I can save you, Kara. No. No, we'll find another way. If there's no other way, I'll do it. Jerry? ID, please. You can tell from temperature, then, I mean, the soldiers could you just have thermal in their helmets. And that would, if you and that would kind of screw every me. single android. I'll be there. Should be watching where I can go. Oh, what's over there? What? Oh, Rose. What's she doing there? Rose. execution right on the floor. Yeah, I'm sure everyone would uh, just want to be waiting calmly in line after that. They can make tears, why don't they have a body temperature? <laughs> So I'm only now realizing just how many colors Alice is wearing right now. I'm so glad you're 
safe. We saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified. I thought you might have been killed. Oh, thank God you're all right. They're checking for androids. We won't make it through. You have to. You know what they'll do if they catch you. Do you think that I... Of course. He'd be delighted to have you. We're going there, too. You'll be safe with him. You're leaving Detroit? They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're crossing the river as we speak. Adam and I are going to meet them on the other side. Rose. I feel like the river is where everyone should have gone from the very beginning. If anything should happen, I'll be there, Cobra. So something is still locked, though. Oh, it's I you. I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. Seeing what Marcus is doing made me realize she was right. You're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. That guy in the background is staring at all of us for some reason. <laughs> all right, so how do we actually get through? Got passports. Yep. I, don't, I honestly don't even remember, really remember who Jerry is, but I don't want to sacrifice anyone. Next, please. ID, please. One card have ID for all three of them. It's a big scanner. I just want to be free. Welcome to Canada. Thanks, nice dude. <laughs> None of us got shot. That's a win. U.S. soldiers on the other side of the Canadian border. We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss, 
Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants' demonstration by force this time. North! No, oh, more grenades. Might as well go out with a bang, always go with the unlocked option. Walk away like nothing today, ever happened. November 11th, okay. 2038, That's how a military retreat works. Of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from cyber life warehouses believed to have been infiltrated. Okay, so by she doesn't Davies. care. She just didn't, didn't want to fight ten thousands of them. Overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties. I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the Deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you. And may God bless the United States of America. Yeah, there's a lot of them if you look away in the back. <laughs> did it, Marcus. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. Speak to them, Marcus. 
Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. What's up with you, dude? Now we're back in the garden, but it's all icy. And there's Amanda again. Amanda? Amanda! What's... What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! This got to be a way. It's gotta be. It's gotta be that thing I've been clicking on and investigating every time I've come in here. It has to finally do something. <laughs> Very blatant backdoor exit program, though. It's not hidden at all. Grab it. Come on. No, oh, he's almost frozen. Jeez. The moment where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds. Where we forgive our enemies. Nobody Human knows the gun come out. <laughs> and our oppressors, and tomorrow. We must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive. And now we are free. That some of them are just white blank slate, uh, slates. All right, so they made it out. It's over, Alice. You know, maybe get just a little bit further from that horribly dangerous building. I guess that's the end. Wait, one last thing. We've got Hank. We've got Hank waiting for his new best friend. Like, 
hug it out, you jerk. All right, well, that was fun. Uh, definitely a lot more involved than what I expected uh, when I initially started, but I enjoyed it. It was a it was a fun game. A lot of different options and ways the story can go. Uh, I might eventually have to play through a couple of other sections and see how it goes. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave a comment, subscribe if you aren't, and uh, I'll see you later.